tell more about this internship. It sounds very exciting. Well, all I really know is that I'm going to be shadowing Mitchum Huntsberger just to sort of learn and observe, plus pitching in here and there. You are going to learn a hell of a lot. It was very sweet of Logan to arrange this for you. Well, actually, Mitchum Huntsberger offered it to me himself. Really? Now, how about that? He just called you up? Your reputation for excellence preceded you? Well, he came by Yale, actually. I had met him when I had dinner at his house and then... Dinner? What dinner? Um, just a dinner that Logan took me to. At the Huntsberger's house? Well, yes. When? When? About a week ago, I guess. Good Lord. Richard, it's already been a week. We need to invite him right away. Who? Logan! The ball's been dropped. I put an invite in the mail first thing tomorrow. We really should have had him over first. We probably should call him as well. We could messenger an invite tonight. It isn't even eight. Well, it's really nice of you to want to have him over. Really, but you don't need Roy, to... Roy, if you could mention it to him yourself, preferably tonight, I'll get a note over to him tomorrow. He'll need a choice of dates. I'll get my book. I'll get mine, too. Rory. Mm. Oh, call him now. Right now, right now, right oh, now. Okay. Hello? Listen, you're going to be getting a note from the Gilmore sometime soon, maybe in the mail, maybe hand-delivered tonight. For all I know, a carrier pigeon's heading for your room as we speak. You might want to open your window. Why is a carrier pigeon heading here? They want to have you over for dinner. Oh. They're flipping out about it. She's sending an apology for being so remiss as to wait one whole week since I had dinner at your house to extend an invitation. I mean, they're losing it. So I'm calling to warn you, and I want you to know, I didn't suggest us having dinner with them or encourage it in any way. And I definitely did not refer to you as my B word in front of them or even imply it in any way. Because, you know, I'm really happy with the way things have been going, and I don't want any pressure put on us. And I'm sorry, and I think I already said that, and that's it. What are the odds of getting out of this? Pretty much zero. Then let's do it. Really? Yeah, it won't be so bad. Well, you are a true gentleman. Oh, my God, what was that? Carrier pigeon, poor thing, should have opened the window. Not funny. Kind of funny. Bye. Bye. OK, so other than your stylist duties, what else is going on in the life of the young and hopeful? I'm considering taking Russian. Oh, very practical. How's Logan? He's fine. Grandma and Grandpa invited him to dinner. You're kidding. It was actually less of an invite and more of a freak out. They heard about the dinner I went to. Heard how much? The Reader's Digest version. Got it. Apparently, they've already exceeded the polite reciprocal invite window. And if he doesn't come to dinner soon, Grandma has to give back her pearls. Wow. So, um, when is this dinner happening? Three dates were proposed. Logan's picking one of them. Huh. Should be an interesting evening. Yep. I'll take notes and pictures. Cool. OK, you do that. Mm. I want to go to dinner. Where's the clock? I mean, you said that I could meet Logan properly, and you know how good I am when there's food involved. 12.30? I mean, is there a reason I wasn't invited? Oh, can't we talk about this tomorrow? It is tomorrow. And I just don't think it's right that they get first dibs on him. I mean, I am your mom, and we are very close, in case you haven't heard, and I should get to know him first. Grandma and Grandpa already know him. <laughs> OK, so they have a head start. Fine, but I bet they don't know him know him like I will know him if you let me go to dinner. I didn't think you'd want to come to dinner. Why not? Well, it's at their house, first of all, and I don't know how you feel about the Logan situation. Hey, this guy is in your life, and I want to know him. Don't you want me to know him? Of course I want you to know him. OK, so? I'd love for you to come to dinner. Great, good. You call Grandma for me. No way. Why not? You want to come to dinner? You call Grandma. But I'm not talking to Grandma. Well, you're going to have to talk to her if you come to dinner. No, I won't. Mom! No, I am there to talk to Logan, to get to know him. I mean, other than the fact that he's blonde, rich, and straight, I'm out. You're not going to come to dinner and ignore Grandma. I won't be ignoring her. I just don't think I'll get to her. What? Well, I've heard through the grapevine that Logan is so chatty that once you get him started, there's no shutting him up. Mom, forget it. If you want to go, then you're going to have to call Grandma and tell her that you're going. But now I, I have to get up in two hours, so if you don't mind, beat it. But I hey, sleeping. 